Hi, second graders. So what we're doing today is we are making our own fable. So the first thing we're going to do is fill out this graphic organizer. If you fill it out with all of the different, the four different parts of a fable and you want to start writing it, I would encourage that. I would say go for it. If you just fill out the graphic organizer and you realize that it's getting kind of late, you can stop after you fill that out, come back to it maybe tomorrow. So the first thing you're going to do is I sent your parents a link to a big fancy wheel and you're going to spin that wheel and it's going to give you two different types of animals, okay? And those two animals are going to be your two characters. So when I spun the wheel, the two characters I got were a porcupine and a butterfly. So those have to be my two characters in my story. And now it's gonna, after you get your characters, it's up to you to fill in the rest of the boxes. So we, after we have our characters, we also need to figure out a moral, a problem or the conflict and a setting. So my suggestion to you is to start with the moral first. Figure out what you want the whole entire lesson at the end of your story to teach your readers. So for example, there are a moral again, don't forget is a lesson that you learn after reading a story. It's what the reader takes away. So some examples of morals could be treat others how you want to be treated, right? That's a lesson that you could learn from reading a book. Maybe the lesson is just tell the truth, that the truth is the best. Maybe taking responsibility for your actions, being responsible. Those are lessons or something just as simple as do not cheat, okay? Any, anything that is a lesson that you learn after reading a book. So I thought about this for quite a long time and I decided that I wanted my moral to be don't judge a book by its cover. So that means not to judge somebody without knowing everything, okay? You wouldn't pick a book off the shelf and just decide not to read it because you don't really like the cover. You want to figure out what's inside first before you judge it. So that is the moral that I chose to make. I chose this because porcupine and butterflies are two like very different animals that I don't really see getting along. So after I figured out my moral, then I decided what I wanted my problem <clears throat> or conflict to be. This is what will be the bulk. This is what will be most important in your story. Not most important, but this is what you're going to write about the most. So I decided that my problem would be that the porcupine wants to be friends with the butterfly, but the butterfly is hesitant, which means the butterfly doesn't really want to be, to be friends with the porcupine because he looks mean and scary with all of his quills, all of the pointy, his little pointy quills that are on his back. So that is my problem. And I haven't, in uh, this graphic organizer, we don't have to figure out how it's solved yet, but I already came up with a plan in my mind that the porcupine will somehow convince the butterfly about how nice he is, and then the butterfly will learn to not have judged the porcupine just because of how he looked. He should have talked to him first. And then the last thing I have to figure out what I want is the setting, right? And so that wasn't too hard. I figured that the setting would have to be outside, so it could be on the ocean, but the ocean doesn't really make sense for a porcupine and butterfly, right? Maybe a playground, but still you don't really see a playground, I mean porcupines and butterflies at playgrounds. So I decided that my setting would be in the forest, because porcupines hang out in the forest. So that was a realistic setting for my characters. So once you're done with this video, if you haven't yet, Ask your parent to get you on the website where you're going to spin the wheel to pick your characters. And then, like I said, from there, try and figure out the moral first and then fill in the rest of the boxes. 
I am so excited to read these, you guys. I love, love, loved reading your graphic organizer with your fairy tales. So I'm even more excited to see these fable graphic organizers.